curiosities, I realized uh, I had been gathering quite a few owls from you guys in my little mail corner, um, and I hadn't taken time to open them because I wanted to film them, but I didn't want to film with just like a few owls, and I ended up with um, quite a few. <laughs> And I'm so sorry that I haven't opened them until now. I'm going to be better about that. I didn't want to do like one per and then I just lost track. It's just, it's embarrassing. It's fine. This is a learning lesson. Oh my gosh, is this one seriously from February? Oh my gosh, I am the worst human in the world. This doesn't make any sense because I did a February owl. This must have gotten lost in my, my mail corner when I, I pick things up from my P.O. box and then I put them in a corner by my computer so that I'll be reminded of them. Huh, <laughs> see how well that works. I wonder if maybe since it's a small little letter if it went under the desk and then I found it when I like moved everything because I've reorganized the entire space over there. Oh my gosh. To Kiri from Eleanor, your videos inspire me. Thank you. Oh, cute little frozen tattoo. I am totally wearing this on my face on Sunday's livestream. Some seriously cute drawings on the back, I hope you can see. Hi Kiri, I don't know the exact date of your birthday. Oh, it's a birthday card! But you said it was coming up. Oh, this is from April. So I just wanted to say, I hope you have the happiest of birthdays, Zoe. Oh, I love you, Zoe! Hey Kiri, I was so glad to see how much you liked my previous books. I thought that I'd send you this one, a unique accidental misprint that I got in a batch, two in one. How curious. Anyway, I hope you're well. From Callum. You know, it's funny, I have a weird love for misprints and accidents like this. Dear Kiri, I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm sorry about Serenity and the rough times you've been dealing with lately. I hope this decal helps the Cardis feel more like home, just like it did for me when I put one on my new car. Oh, we're gonna be car twins! Thank you for your positive outlook and for championing hope in your videos. I know you've helped to make some of my days brighter, and I'm pretty sure you've done the same for many others, and I admire your curiosity and thirst for knowledge and find it inspiring. You search for the truth in everything, and I think that's awesome. Also, your sense of wonder toward the world is the best. Your videos encouraged me to start coloring, and I'm now the owner of a Celtic Knotwork and Doctor Who coloring books, along with tons of pencils and crayons. You should have seen how excited I was over that giant box of crayons, by the way. Oh. I'd been going through a time where I felt like I didn't know myself anymore and I wouldn't ever let myself stop to think like I used to. I would go from activity to activity, always having to do something. I felt adrift. Coloring helped me slow down and actually got me to just sit and think again. It also got me daydreaming again, which is important for an aspiring author. Oh, Becca, I can't wait to read it. So all that to say thank you. Stay curious and allons-y, Becca. Greetings, dear fellow human person. It is I, the one called J.P. Rakath, your faithful graphics wizard and enchanted forest creature. If you wonder how to pronounce Rakath, don't worry about it. It's not my real name. Plot twist! It's the name of my first D&D character. Oh, cool. So even I don't know how to pronounce it because the name is fictional. I didn't want to use my real name on Twitter, so I chose that on a whim, and now I'm kind of stuck with it. But JP are my real initials, though. I wanted to send you something, but international shipping is so freaking expensive, and custom forms are a pain in the arse to fill, so I needed it to be something I could fit in an envelope. And what fits in an envelope? A letter. I could decorate with random drawings. I also included some printed art you can use in your curiosity canvases if you'd like. Sorry it isn't something more awesome or tangible. Oh, you shut your mouth. These are amazing. Anyway, now onto the mushy, feely stuff. Deep breath. I promise in the end I'll write a really stupid poop joke to make this less serious, okay? Here we go. I've been meaning to tell you a lot of these following things, but I've always felt too self-conscious or it just felt weird to 
put tag this at the end of a business like email about channel art drafts. Ever since I started following the Geek and Sundry vlogs back when the very first videos were released, I've been a fan of yours and the rest of the amazing vloggers. The encouragement and support I've gotten from all of you fine peeps has absolutely helped me become a more confident and positive person and more creative. Instead of thinking about maybe someday creating something, I'm creating things every single day. I get hit by pretty bad imposter syndrome constantly, but I usually manage to beat it away by knowing that an amazing creative person called Kiri, who I respect and look up to, likes my work. You are my hero in mental health and the kind of person I want to be when I grow up. This is the imposter syndrome turtle. Do not trust the imposter syndrome turtle. <laughs> I was listening to Spotify at work recently and I thought to myself, geez, maybe one day I'll get to create album art for an awesome band like this. And I realized I already had. I was listening to Saving April. I felt like I had actually accomplished something important and made me happy. Working for you on everything from channel branding to album art has definitely been the high point of my 2015, which was an otherwise sucky, sucky year for me. Getting to create a folder on my PC of official curiosity art next to the folder of curiosity fan art is the highest compliment an honor a fan artist can get. So thank you for allowing me to do all this. Also, your serious pie videos have helped me get through some of the recent rough spots in my life. You might wonder if you've made a difference. You have. I once heard the message of your one year later video, and I have made active efforts to get in a better mental health. And I know I'm not the only one. Your videos help a lot of people all over the world. We are better because you exist, because you create. I'm sure I'm forgetting something else I've been meaning to tell you, but these are the main plot points. Well, that's all for me for now. I wish you and the doctor all the best. I'm so excited to see what new creations you have planned for the future. Your curiosity, aka JP Rakath. P.S. Why did the poop cross the road? Because it was flung by a poop flinging monkey and it had no choice in the matter. And there's a little mobster duck. Nice letter you have here. Shame if something would happen to it. <laughs> I also really like the self esteem monkey. Um, the low self esteem monkey lies. <laughs> Never trust the low self esteem monkey. That and the imposter syndrome turtle are now things I'm just adding into my general vocabulary. Now, Philip sent me a package as well, but it does not include a letter, so I'm just going to talk a bit about what he sent me. A fantastic Stratford upon Avon magnet, as well as a booklet for the town. I got to go once in college thanks to uh, tuition because I couldn't afford it on my own uh, one day um, but also this extremely beautiful handmade bracelet like he made this completely on his own and it's gorgeous and it will be added to the raffle for the live stream uh, unfortunately this is one of those things um, that I probably won't be able to mail overseas depending um, you know what I, I'm gonna probably try <laughs> depending how much uh, the raffle pulls in like maybe I'll set aside for some for shipping because this thing is just gorgeous like look at this he made this himself it's amazing and of course some super super delicious looking and smelling tea that I may have to make myself a cup of hmm you guys know me so well to Kiri happy birthday Kiri keep doing what you do oh I love watching your YouTube channel I even try harder on the days in January to help some people in my area. No, oh, there is a dragon. Oh, Tad Cooper! If you ever need to talk or just hug, he is here for you. Also, Ewok, just in case the day requires two hugs. <laughs> Included are a few items for your birthday. No, oh, that I hope will help anyway. If you already have the book and movie, I don't. Pass it along to a fellow Time Lord, your dragon ally, Chris. So this book is from like 1974 and it's got that amazing old book smell. Oh, and I love how the pages are all like discolored. Ah, oh, so good. And coloring stuffs. May it rain on April 21st. Oh, 
just thought you should know happy birthday and you are awesome amazing and beautiful oh you guys are amazing oh my gosh hey Kiri once again I went to a convention and the first thing I did was be on the lookout for gifts to get my friends and family oh why are you the sweetest this year it was all con in Dallas oh how was that I've never been I've never even been to Dallas since I knew that your birthday was coming up, I was glad to find these treasures. The stein practically had a bright neon sign over it that said, Kiri! This was one of the few Hogwarts house steins that were there. How could I not get that for my favorite huffle? Oh, I hope that it's big enough for your chai enjoyment. Dude, I am going to like make a butterbeer recipe a hot butterbeer recipe and i'm gonna film it and we're gonna put it in this stein and it's gonna be delicious the cauldron i got at a local store here in wichita the burrow it's a little nerd nook for geek paraphernalia and gaming in the back room thought it would go along nicely with your stein that's such a great name maybe i'm gonna call our house the burrow i mean it's like a mix of harry potter and like a hobbit hole so that seems to fit really well Last but not least, these delectable teas a vendor at Alcon had. Oh, and they smell amazing. If I could have just hung around there smell testing all the samples, I would have. Oh, dude, me too. I thought that these three were the best combos that you might like, and I hope you do. If they taste anything like they smell, I'm sure I'm going to be over the moon. These gifts are to remind you to take it easy and take time for yourself when you can. <laughs> Never be so busy with projects or helping others that you don't take moments for yourself. Wow, this was really well-timed, despite the fact that I didn't open it until, like, two months later. I've said this before. You're a human prism that shines rainbows to people around you. Keep shining for everyone, including yourself. Happy birthday. Love, Josh. To the wonderful woman in the UPS store in Lakewood um, who handed me this package this morning. Um, thank you again. And I'm sorry I didn't get your name. I will make sure that I do that next time. I was so taken off guard when you said that you watched my videos and I just didn't, I didn't know what to do. I was like, I, I, I never expect to run into real humans who've seen my videos. I mean, obviously all of you curiosities are real humans and some of you I've had the pleasure of meeting, but it's almost always at a convention. So I'm like, oh, of course I would meet my people here. It's always very strange to meet a fellow curiosity in the wild for me and awesome, above all, super awesome. Uh, so I apologize that I did not catch your name. Um, if you feel comfortable sharing it in the comments, if you see this, I hope you do, um, please do. And I'll see you next time. I'm in the thing. There was a better way to do this, wasn't there? Meh. A better way than cutting off the entire top of a box? Surely you just... Kiri, you are one of the world's beautiful people, and I'm not just talking about physical beauty. Oh, honey, you're a beautiful person because of how much you care about people. People you hardly know. People who you only know and don't know through the internet and on social media. Well, to be fair, that's the only way you guys really know me. I mean, for the most part. It doesn't matter to you where they're from, you're willing to help them, even if you're going through your own personal battles. You have a huge heart, Kiri. You could say your heart is like a TARDIS. It's bigger on the inside. I won't go into my own problems. No, but you should, though. Like... <laughs> If you guys ever need to vent or whatever, like, don't, if you don't have anyone to reach out to, I, I will do whatever I can to help and listen. Like, seriously, you should feel like you can talk about stuff. Oh, I lost my place. I won't go into my own problems, but I just want to tell you, you've helped me a lot with your videos, your music, and your vlogs. Not forgetting your book, either. I loved Alice, and I can't wait for the sequel to come out. Kiri, please never doubt what you're doing. You are doing a lot of good in this world. Kiri, we care about you, and if you ever need help yourself, all you have to do is ask, and we will be there for you. Thank you for all that you do. Take care. Martin, a.k.a. Nitrum. P.S. The package is just a small thank you for all that you do for us.
the scarf is for when you go back to Seattle to keep warm, or maybe you can give it to the doctor. Heck no, it's mine. <laughs> then he could become the doctor who also creates music. When I bought the scarf, I realized that California can be a little warm at times, just a bit. It's like 100 degrees today, but it's, in, it's cold inside my house. <laughs> and you couldn't exactly wear the scarf all the time. So I have also sent you a tie in the same colors as the scarf. I hope you like them. They are amazing. As it's the 400th anniversary of William Shakespeare's death, a commemorative coin was made. And recently in a raffle, I won one of those commemorative coins. I know you appreciate Shakespeare more than I do, so I hope you like the coins. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. The box was too big, so I had to pack it out with something. I hope you're excited by the packaging in the box. It's raining eggs. Hallelujah, it's raining eggs. Eggs, men. Holy cow. Exactly what I needed. If you ever want to rate me, um, my address is always posted in the video descriptions below. It's my P.O. Box address. Um, and I normally am better about picking them up, and if you don't see me put out a monthly owl, um, please feel free to like nudge me on social media and be like, hey, have you forgotten to do your owl video this month? Like, did you get any owls? That kind of thing. I love you guys, and I will um, either talk to you later this week, because I've got, I've got um, a few song videos to record this week that I will hopefully get done before the live stream on Friday, and um, other than that, uh, if I'll see you on the live stream or maybe at VidCon on Saturday for a little bit. Um, love you guys. Bye.